Circles up. Pulls on a corner. Pull, 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 pull. Gravity wall, gravity wall in a corner. Trips up. The number one play style is zerging. This is usually done in groups around the size of 15 to 50. This play style is the most common one that you're going to be told to do as a new player. You just go find yourself a commander tag, stick close to them, and follow them around. This play style involves cooperatively working with a large group of players to defeat other groups of players and take high and low value structures. If you choose this path for your play style, you will be limited to certain classes and builds should you wish to improve at it. If you like this style after trying it, it is highly recommended that you join the guild of the commander you most enjoyed or that runs during your time zones. Chances are that this group will then give you some proper builds to run. Even if you did not see any recruitment messages from the guild of the commander, chances are if you ask them, they will be recruiting. Yeah, I thought there was only like six of them still. Otherwise, I would have gone in. Alright, we'll just kill them one by one as they feed themselves to us, I guess. Okay, so if the Zerging looks maybe a little bit too chaotic for you, maybe you want to try the number two option, which is Havoc. This is not going to be suggested to you if you jump in a map and ask as a new player. These groups are generally harder to find as most will run privately tagged, so you cannot actually see them on the map. If you wander around and look for a smaller group of players and ask them to join, they may or may not allow you. These groups are usually around the size of 8 to 10. There is a um, few more uh, build options for these groups since they are running smaller. They can be a little more creative with their builds. And their main goal is usually just to be as irritating as possible to the enemy. So if you really like to stealth cap, pull zergs, and create general chaos for your enemies, you may want to try this playstyle instead of zerging. Bodies above us. TM's here. All of them? Uh, bound to be, yeah. Okay. Get stab up. Just jump off the cliff into the water if you can. Number three option is scouting. This is more of a solo play style. However, you will still need to communicate with your team members via map or team chat or even through voice comms. You can run whatever build you like while doing this. It is, however, recommended that you run one with high mobility so you can get from one point to another more quickly. This allows you to report the enemy's movements faster, allowing your team to save more structures because of the callouts that you made. The fourth option is roaming. If you don't find that scouting is interactive enough for you, but Havoc and Zerging is just a little bit too much, then you may want to try this playstyle. This you can do on your own or with a few friends, and you just need to run around dueling players, capping camps, flipping sentries, and even tapping the keeps of your enemies in order to help your friendlies take objectives. Most importantly, as a new player, do not be afraid to ask your teammates questions. 
Most of them are going to be quite helpful to you as they are just happy to see new players joining the game mode they most enjoy.